families will be able to spend Christmas together after a plan for the whole of the UK was agreed today. Restrictions will be eased over a five-day period, allowing more households to mix and people will be allowed to travel to see their loved ones. Tonight, the Prime Minister stressed that Christmas would be different this year and he warned that families would need to make a personal judgment about visiting elderly relatives and the vulnerable. This is what has been agreed across the UK. Up to three households will be able to mix in each other's homes, but you can't go to pubs or restaurants. You will be allowed to travel to see family and you can go anywhere in the UK. The new rules cover just five days from the 23rd to the 27th of December. Here's our deputy political editor, Vicky Young. Preparations are underway across all four nations of the United Kingdom for a Christmas that won't be like any other. Coronavirus means that for months we've all had to live with regulations telling us who we can see and where. For a few days, the rules will be relaxed. This year, Christmas will be different. Many of us are longing to spend time with family and friends, irrespective of our faith or background, and yet we can't afford to throw caution to the wind. The virus doesn't know it's Christmas and we must all be careful. Many will welcome the move, but what about places like Loughborough, where there's been a spike in coronavirus cases in recent days? Well, I think I'd rather it didn't happen, because I think we need to be, if we get keep safe now, hopefully in the new year we can move forward. I think it's inevitable because people would do it regardless of whether they were allowed to or not. So, yeah, it's the only choice they could make. Diwali's just happened. They've not been able to celebrate Muslims. They've not been able to celebrate Eid, and the Jewish community haven't been able to celebrate either, so I just don't really think it's very fair. I think it'll create more COVID cases. The hospital's already, you know, under pressure. I don't see why they should be put under it anymore, just by letting us have that, that week of Christmas. Detailed guidance for Scotland and Wales will be issued on Thursday, but the broad message is take care. We're asking people to keep well within these limits because there is a risk to households coming together and therefore if you feel you can get through this Christmas without uh, seeing other people or if you can see people for one day and not across five days, then try to limit your interaction. This is not an instruction to travel. It's not an instruction to meet with other people. People should still use a sense of responsibility, should still ask themselves whether what they are doing is keeping themselves and other people safe. Northern Ireland has been given a slightly longer window from the 22nd to the 28th of December to allow time to travel between the nations. We recognise uh, that for a lot of people this is an oasis, if you like, uh, that is coming up and they're looking forward to it. And of course it is good to get together uh, for many people who have suffered from mental health issues over the year, who feel isolated during this time. The plans mean people can get together in a bigger group for a few days, but there will still be limits. You can gather in a private home or a place of worship, but most people still won't be able to go to the pub or to a restaurant together. There is, though, flexibility in other areas. Children whose parents are separated will be able to see both of them over the festive period. And then there's the question of enforcement. At times, the police have been accused of being heavy-handed, but they're playing down the chances of penalty fines while the crackers are being pulled. I will not be tasking my officers to be knocking on people's doors on Christmas Day and interrupting the turkey because people may or may not have breached it. I'm sure that's what's behind the government thinking, so we'll see what the rules and regulations come out, but we will continue to police it in a very pragmatic way, Christmas Day or not. Many will seize the opportunity to celebrate Christmas with others, but political leaders across the UK are urging caution. Vicky Young, BBC News, Westminster. So what are the risks of relaxing the restrictions? The government's scientific advisers are warning that transmission of the virus is most likely when people meet indoors. Our science editor, David Shookman, has been looking at the latest research. <laughs> It's traditionally the time of year for celebrations, but when friends and family crowd together and maybe relax about COVID for a while, the coronavirus can easily spread. And scientists say that scenes like this can lead to infections. The way that we would normally experience Christmas, a Christmas meal, for example, with our friends and families, is probably the worst possible scenario for this type of virus. It's going to be difficult to physically distance. People care for each other. They're not used to that. 
If you're out of doors, all the evidence suggests you're very unlikely to catch the virus because it gets dispersed in the open air. But at this time of year, no one wants to spend too long out in the cold. This is, after all, the season for gatherings indoors. But that brings a whole series of risks. In any group, sitting down to a meal, it's possible someone may be infected without realising because they have no symptoms. And the more people there are, the greater that danger, especially if they've come from different households. One risk is from sharing, because dishes or bottles could be contaminated as they're passed around. Another is that if someone is infected, they'll release the virus as they talk, and more emerges the louder people are as they project their voices. Hour by hour, the longer everyone's together, the more it can accumulate in the air. And if the windows are closed against the winter cold, there'll be no fresh air to dilute the virus, again increasing the chances of infection. By opening windows regularly throughout the day, you can remove the infected particles. That so the government's advice is to open windows, which might make the room colder, but should clear the tiny virus particles known as aerosols. Hands, face, space. There is growing evidence that if you are in a, a poorly ventilated space for a long period of time with people uh, who are infected, that you may be breathing in those aerosols and that might be one of the routes of infection. And especially in a, in a social setting where the chances are you're not wearing a face covering. So the guidance is to reduce the numbers getting together and maybe save a big gathering for the summer. Avoid sharing plates and utensils. The American government says everyone should bring their own and keep the event as short as possible. But even with measures like this, the elderly and other vulnerable people may still be at risk. The virus doesn't know it's Christmas. It doesn't know it's after 10 o'clock at night. It doesn't know whether it's in a pub or in your house. It, it is just a virus and it, it will, it thrives on human contact. So there's a Christmas balance to strike between the chances of infection and the benefits to morale and getting that right won't be easy. David Shukman, BBC News. Our deputy political editor, Vicky Young, joins me from Westminster, and that's the point, isn't it? There are going to be many who welcome the, the new rules, but it, they will also give a lot of people pause for thought. Yeah, and the message very much is caution, isn't it? And it's worth saying this is not a free-for-all. It doesn't mean that on Christmas Eve you can meet up with two households and on Boxing Day uh, another two. Those Christmas bubbles have to be fixed over those five days. And the government says it's a proportionate response that it allows people to spend some more time with family and friends without the virus transmitting in any significant way. But being no doubt, scientists do think there will be a rise in cases because of this and that's why very much people being urged to use their judgment the personal judgment that many people have used throughout this pandemic especially when it comes to the elderly and vulnerable saying just because you can do this it doesn't mean that you have to and I think a reminder to uh, to people particularly in England who will find out many of them on Thursday that they will be over Christmas in areas where there are other restrictions going on, those tiers that areas are going to be put into. There could well be pubs and restaurants closed in many parts of England as well as the rest of the UK. I think the idea of big Christmas parties are very much off the agenda. Vicky, thank you. Well, there is more information about the new rules for Christmas and who you're allowed to see and where you're allowed to travel to on our website. That's bbc.co.uk forward slash news.